We'll start with the Mustard C52S, size 4. So this is the Awesome Opossum Shrimp, a pattern that I've used for a long time. So we just attach our Dyneema and we'll run the length of the hook shank just down to about there. This is a relatively easy pattern but it does have a few techniques that have to be mastered. Now I want to weight this, it's very important that we weight it and how I do this is it, it's not enough with one strip of lead wire. So what I do is I double a piece of lead wire, I put my dubbing spinner on and then I spin this up and carry on spinning until it's very tight and I end up with that. So what I'll do now is I'll turn my hook upside down halfway like this and I'll tie this on the underside of the hook. This is important as well. So it all fishes the right way up. So we now bend this over to the same length, also important. So we get even weight distribution, even keel. And we go back. And you also get a very good grip uh, purchase when you spin your lead wire like that. Okay, there we go. Go forward. Now I make a dubbing loop and go like this. Move my tying thread up again. Just hang that out the way. Now what we need is some opossum zonka. We need a whiting spay hackle. Now if you're using spay hackles for anything really, what I tend to do is they're very difficult. If you want one spay hackle out of here, they're very difficult to remove without damaging the other spay hackles. So what I like to do with these capes is I like to cut them in two with a craft knife and then the hackles are so much easier to get out without damaging the others. So spare hackle, we pull it out like this. Got a nice long one here. I remove the downy parts from the base of the hackle and we want the fibres about as much as 90 degrees as you can get them from the, chain, from the stem of the feather. So we take a little strip of a possum and what we do is we place the spray hackle on there like that and then we put a little petit jean clip on there. Our long scissors and we trim all that off. So we end up with the opossum and the spare hackle all trapped in there. Take our clip, our uh, dubbing loop and we put all this in like this. Go on the right way and then we'll give it a spin. Okay, once that's nice and tight, give it a brush just to pull all any trapped fibres or spare hackle fibres out like so and then we'll wrap this to form the feelers of the shrimp. Now, both this opossum and the spay hackle have fantastic uh, mobility in the water. It's a real uh, attractor pattern. So we just wrap these in. We want all these fibres pointing forwards. We don't want anything trapped here. Let's brush these out as we go. There we are, that's us. 
So now we can just go back, tie off the dubbing loop. Like so, back again. And we can remove that dubbing loop. That. And we go into the fibres, but give them a brush out first. Like this. And then we can go in and tie them down. There we are. Now what we need is another spare hackle and we'll tie this in by the point here. Just attach that to the hook like so. Those we can pull off. Then we'll just wrap this over the fur So that's enough, so just go back, tie and thread, tie off that spare hackle there. I'll do it. Remove that, pull everything forward, and back in again. Like so. That's the feelers done. Now we need some mono. This is going to be the rib. So I just attach this like so. These have a tendency to slip out because they're very slippery, these monos. So what I tend to do is fold it over like that. Just hang that out of the way for the time being on the back. Just fold that over, tack that down like so. Remove that. Now we need some easy shrimp eyes. Now you see on these, there's one side that has a ribbed edge. This is so you get better purchase. The ribbed edge we want upwards. So I like to bend the eyes up like this and just separate them a little. Then we go over the feelers a little bit there. Just pull those forward. Don't want to tie those down. And then we'll just tie this on top of the hook shank. Hear that all looking good. There we are. Then we make another larger dubbing loop and we go back to there. Just hang that dubbing loop out of the way and put our dubbing spinner on there. Keep it all nice and tidy. Now what I like to do is just put a whip finish in there for safety's sake just like that now we need a longer strip of zonka now and a spare hackle with long fibers so we put this in the clip like this it's better if i show you that way because i want the shorter hairs at the back and the longer hairs at the front so you get a taper on the body in that now we want the thinnest end at the back of the hook so the broadest end has to go in the loop first so put that up there trap them all in and spin this up pull these fibers out 
There we are. Turn this one up as I get. So, a toothbrush again. Just free any trapped fibres. That's looking good. Pull everything forward and then we'll start winding this on. And with each turn, pull your fibres forward. Like so. And we go back all the way to the hook bend, to the hook eye, sorry. And then we can tie that off. remove our dubbing loop now and we pull everything forward get absolutely everything here and we tie all that down like so toothbrush again and give it a good brushing you see there are some trapped hackle fibers in there so these need to come out if you want the full effect of them. There we are. Do this all the way. Excellent. Now we take our fly foil, shrimp foil, which is like this. Put this on the back of the hook and we just secure that like so. Now take our mono and a dubbing needle and now we need to come through. and open the fibres of the shrimp body so we don't tie any down like that and then we can go over the first segment of the shrimp shell and we do the same again Open the fibres Next segment Gets easier as you go back And again that one and tighten up as you go over that one that one and then we go two or three times around with the mono then we can tie the mono off Remove them on out. And whip finish. Take our toothbrush again, just to free any fibres. 
uh, trapped still. Distribute the eyes. Then I'll take my scissors. And I'll just step this down towards the front. Okay, then we just take our scissors and we trim this down at more of an angle on each side so we can see what's going on. We'll just give that a brush again. And I think that's about uh, I think that's about us done. There's a little bit more there. That's the awesome opossum shrimp. And uh, when it's in the water and all this collapses and pulsates, it really does uh, work well. You have to give it a go. Thanks for watching.